Hi everybody, my name is Greg Pierce with Agile Tortoise. This is just a brief demo for developers of how to implement integration with terminology in their iOS applications. Terminology registers the terminology URL handler and accepts two different actions um, for integration. The first is for a simple lookup of a word. And all you need to do to do a lookup is to construct a URL with the terminology scheme. We're using the X callback URL protocol for formatting our URLs. And there's more details on that at the xcallbackurl.com uh, website. But essentially, this is a host identifier, a version identifier, and then an action name, which is specific to terminology, in this case, lookup. And then we're taking one parameter in the URL, which is the text you want to look up, and then uh, URL encoded text. It can have spaces, be a phrase, word, whatever. So if I'm going to execute that, it's going to launch terminology and look up that word. Simple enough. The second case is where you want to ask terminology to uh, allow your user to select a replacement word. So if you have a writing tool or something along those lines and the user might want to select a word, you construct this URL, send the data to terminology. The format's the same, terminology, URL schema, X callback URL. The action in this case is replace the text parameter and then there's two parameters that are specified by the X callback URL protocol. The first is the X source, which would be a friendly name for your application, and that's just used to display to the user. And then the X success parameter should be a URL to call in the case um, of a successful execution of this method. Now, for demonstration purposes, I've used an HTTP URL, but this would typically be the URL schema registered by your application um, along with any action parameters you want to receive. Now, if I launch that, that's going to bring us back to terminology. It's going to look up the word and provide the user with this dialog. Um, they can cancel out, in which case this dialogue goes away. They stay in terminology, um, go on about their business. Say they select another word and they want to send that back to your application, they can click Send. That's going to launch that X success URL. And you'll see this brought me back to the same page. And it tacked on additional parameters. The text, which is what was originally sent to terminology, along with a second replace with block, which will be the string the user wants uh, to provide to replace that text in your application. It's up to you to handle that URL argument in coming to your app as you please. But that's the basics. Uh, if you're interested in doing integration with terminology, please get in touch with us. We'd be happy to help out in any way we can. Thanks.